Hello, my name is Roland Pilz. I'm a patent attorney. I'm giving you a short introduction on the matters of intellectual property, including patents, trademarks, and designs, and how to approach these. So first of all, consider why you want to have that. The first thing you all have in mind is the copycat protection. That's the obvious one, but there are several different attributes coming with that. One important thing is, think about it, is the value for your company. If you have your product saved via a patent, for example, you will have a more valuable company. In addition, probably you will most be startups. It will be more attractive for the investors if you try to protect that and even get it. And a second one, which is also nice because money is always something that startups don't have too much of it. There's a revenue score or revenue scores, you could say. You can either sell your protection or you may have a license for that. So you see, there's more to that. And if you say, I will check that out, listen to the next one. So we have here the general idea how your company may go. I hope so. And um, the first thing is you find your product or your niche where you want to go. And what you do is you screen your competitors. And when doing so, don't only look at the products, but also look what IP matters they have, which is the IP may cover more. We will have another video on that for how to search for that. But for you in the process of your developing, you come to a point where you say, okay, I want to give my company a name. You will want to have a brand. And that's probably the first time we are thinking about probably a trademark. That's one thing. You go please to an attorney or a patent attorney. They always offer free uh, discourses about that, a free first hour something to give you the big hints how to do that. And when you develop your product, especially when you have something technical, you may consider applying for a patent or a patent application because the idea, the technical idea is much broader than your later product, but you can already apply for it. That has two benefits. The first thing is you secured your idea on the one thing. And on the next thing is you can go after filing the patent application to your investors and tell them in detail how you solve the problem. Otherwise, you will have some non-disclosure agreements entered on, which makes it le less secure. So it's one way to do that. And in your, in your journey, consider it there already. Last thing is you can do is a design application, which is a very, very narrow scope of protection. It just protects the thing as it is and it looks like. So you want to make sure if you have that, that your product that you release looks the same. If you say, okay, I want to do that, two big things to consider. The first thing is who owns the idea? Most of you may be employed, maybe students or master thesis uh, writing. So then it comes down, did you have the idea by your own? Were you employed? If you are employed, probably your employer will have some rights on that. Are the other persons contributing to that? Or do you work for a company? If you have the answer to that, probably go to a lawyer. <laughs> but consider that because afterwards it's not a nice thing if you already build up the whole process and you have someone when you have some rights on that. The other thing is the country focus. Don't only consider where you want to sell it or you produce your product, but also think of your competitors to give you one advantage, probably also in countries you're not yet interested, but it may help you in your situation. Last thing I want to tell you is some big don'ts, or obvious ones. Um, the first thing is when you file a trademark application, the patent office will not search for identical or similar ones. That means you could file a trademark identical to one that's already existing, and you will have some problems with that company probably. So just consider that, do a search by your own or ask a lawyer, but just to keep that in mind, they won't search for identical ones. The next thing is, when it comes down to patent applications, do not publish the technical solution before that, because everything that is available to the public before you file that may be hold against you. And if you made your solution already available, then that's nothing new. One more thing is also when it comes to patents, it's you have the right to prohibit 
not the right to use it. These are two different things. Keep it in mind. We'll have that again in another video, but keep that in mind. And last thing, I already said it before, if you talk with investors, for example, use non-disclosure agreements as long as you didn't file any patent applications or um, secure it otherwise. That's for it. It's a very broad uh, discourse. If you have any questions, you can always come to us, to your lawyer or a patent attorney. Um, they always offer a free first hour normally. So take that during your journey. Thank you for your attention.